the balcony. My boyfriend, Fred, has OCD when it comes to locking doors. Paranoid, perhaps. The hotel room wall is getting pounded repeatedly as we enjoy the accommodations. The door is dead bolted, of course, and the balcony has a view of the beach. We finish and look out at the sunset. We look around and decide no one is down at the beach, so let's go outside on the balcony. Did I mention we were naked? After about 10 minutes, we start to get cold and go back inside. Except for we can't go back inside. Because he locked the door. Yeah, you remember how I said Fred has that thing about locking doors? Yeah. Somehow Fred had managed to lock us outside on the balcony with no way back into our hotel room. Naked. After about 20 minutes of us discussing how we're going to get out of the situation... Like a miracle happened and our hotel balcony neighbors came outside. The balcony was fortunately of solid design, so Fred could look as though he was wearing clothes if he stood close enough to their balcony. I hid in a nook in the wall. We could not have asked for better hotel neighbors. It was a group of older women who travel and taste wine together. They called themselves the Chauvin Ladies. They had newsletters and it was like a legit group. Fred explained to two of the nice ladies that we were cold and stuck outside. Could they please call the front desk for us and help us out? We told them we just came in from the pool, which is why we were so cold and unclothed. They were so sweet and passed over a giant warm coat. Two of them, one for each of us. I was so grateful, not only because I was cold, but I didn't want the people rescuing us to realize we had been outside naked. So I was able to come out and sort of reveal myself once they had passed us things to wrap us up in. It turned out that the hotel was not equipped with the correct staff member who could break into the hotel and bypass the padlock. They would have easily been able to save us had Fred not padlocked the door shut too. The hotel had to call in a staff member special on his day off to come in and help us. Help took about 30 minutes to arrive. The Chauvin ladies kept us company and were so excited to help save us and write about our story in their newsletter. They tried multiple ways to break in. Unsuccessful every single one. Then one of the Chauvin ladies suggested they try using something she had instead. You know how you have to use something similar to a credit card to get through a lock? Well, she had something similar to that. She had a cheap plastic, super thin cutting board that was large enough and could do the trick. Then, after breaking into their own hotel room, they had to then fix the sliding door that had locked us out from the wrong side of the balcony, which took another 10 minutes. When we got out of there, we thanked everyone from the bottom of our hearts and got invited into the showman ladies' room. We spent the remainder of the night doing delicious pudding shots. We had everybody sign the cutting board, and it was a really great night. We had a lot of fun. To this day, I still have it displayed on my wall as a good memory.